there is no stronger bond in nature than man and machine. A wise man once said, man and machine, machine and man, we're always together and they don't understand. And to be honest, most don't, but I do, you see? The name's Black, Matt Black, Hot Rod Detective. This is a case of one of many of which I've seen many times. The story of a young man bonded forever to his car. I run a detective agency, you see? And one day this girl came in and gave me a look that I'll never forget. She was sitting in the lobby, crying, when she looked up from a coffee, met eyes with me, and said, Oh, you must be Mr. Black. Please, dollface, call me Matt. Matt Black, hot rod detective. Well, thanks, Matt. Oh, you must help me. My husband is lost. Lost, see? I think you got the wrong department. No, no, he's gone. Well, ma'am, I'm a detective. It sounds like you're looking for counseling. Oh, well, I've tried it all. Where are you at? Acceptance and commitment. How's it going? Terrible. Have you tried transcranial stimulation? But, Mrs., I got work to do. No, you don't understand. I don't know where he's gone. Oh? You don't say. I think I just did. And she did. We went through the details of the case, and the story is something that will be with me for the rest of my life. A man and his Buick. A story as old as time. Well, you see, Mr. Black. Didn't I say Matt? Yes, Matt. He disappeared. I don't know where he went. And he took his old Buick with him. Here, this is all that I have. These are some recordings in his phone. I think he was trying to make a podcast or something. Well, well, see, now that. Now that's some helpful information. You know what, ma'am? I'll take the case. I'm on it. Here, here, hand me that phone. Oh, here you go. Is it a face thing or is it... Well, my face is in it, but I'll give you the combination. Okay. Well, she gave me the combination of predictable string and numbers. You see, I've seen this case a million times, but I believe I'm talking in circles. All right. Now we got this set up. Let's plug in the thing. Oh, no. Yeah, we got to convert from an MP3 to a wave. Hill. Okay. All right. Now let's find out what happened. We're going to see her tomorrow, and I can't wait. I can't sleep. I've been thinking about this all week. It's just sitting there, and it looks so close. Running, driving, a little rough on the body, but not too rough on the eyes. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've been needing an easy project for a while, and this one seems to fit the bill. I've always been a Buick man at heart. My grandfather was a Buick man, and I was excited to, to keep up the tradition. So we're getting up early, driving up north, going to go check it out. I pulled some cash out of the bank, and I'm ready to make the move. It's, it's time. we got the space. We have the time. And I can't wait to add this to our little hot rod family down here. All right, well, we're, we're here. I'm trying to be quiet. I don't want to give it away too much to the owner that I'm, I'm so excited and have him keep the price up on me. But there, there it is, sitting in steel, but light as gossamer. Buick, Buick Olds Pontiac. It's really the, the Area 51 of General Motors. The, the weirdest body lines, the weirdest combinations of power and class, elegance, and this... This, I knew it was mine the second I stepped on the lot. There is no way that I'm leaving without it. But <laughs> don't tell the seller that. Let's see if we can work this out. Yeah, let, me, let me roll up the window. Get that, that Dynaflow winding out as, as long as it wants to. It's, it's mine. It's mine. I got it. We're... We're coming home right now, and I can't believe it. Oh, my God. And it's so perfect. It's so stuck. It has, it, it has a radio. It has all the glass. It's, and it's mine. Oh, man. I, I can't wait. I, I, I've been fantasizing about getting this together for, for weeks, and I, I am so, so excited to get started. So first thing, we're going to get this thing home. We're going to go through everything. We got it running on the on the side of the, the lot there, but we still have a lot to do, so thank you.
should think of a name of it. Christine. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's a little on the nose. Um, we'll figure that out. All right. Got, got to, got to hit the road. We got some, some wobbling in the front. And you know, I, I think the, I think it's missing shocks in the front. It is bouncing around a lot on the freeway. So yeah, that first thing we do, actually, I think we're gonna have to prop this up at home and take a look at that suspension. You know, I, I should start figuring out how I'm going to lower this thing anyways. Because these, God, these Buicks have the weirdest shit underneath their undercarriage. Talk to you soon. Oh, wait, no, I'll cut that out. Well, we made it. It's here. Uh, and it's, my, it's mine. And it fits. It fits in front of the house between the, my driveway and the neighbors. And I, I am just, oh, I'm so excited. It's, God, it's about 1230 at night. I, I just can't... Uh, I can't stop looking at it. I've just been been sitting and, and, and staring at it, and fantasizing about what could be and uh, where this is going next. I, I, I am so happy. I, I just can't believe, uh, I can't believe we finally pulled this off. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh. Wait, is this how you adjust the mirror? <laughs> All right, well, I... I managed to get some sleep, and while I was out, I had the most beautiful dream. See, it was there, and it was done, and it was beautiful. A little suede on the bottom, a little flake on the top. I, and it was, oh, it was low. It, it sat so low. It was you know, all, almost on the ground. I, God, I've never lowered a car like this before. I, God, I, I, I got to figure this out. Um. Uh, See, we had photo bucket, pulled the plug and all the images on all the fucking tech threads on the ham. Hmm. We'll get it, though. All right. All right. <laughs> I got to shut this down and get to work. You see, and that's, that's when I knew he was hooked, because there are a few bonds in nature. Oh, no, I said that already. And there it was, the classic case. You could see it starting already. You can't get the car out of your head, fantasizing endlessly. Yeah, a lot of people have been down this road. Now it's up to me to figure out where it led. Let's continue. All right, I'm, I'm home. I'm home from work. I'm, I'm pacing around the, the yard. It's, it's time to, time to do it. I, I managed to get the, the jack and the, the jack stands underneath it. And yeah, yeah, just like I thought. It's. It's missing shocks just completely in the top. I wonder what happened there. But, you know, I'm looking at this, and I think I can get a torch underneath here without having to pull anything apart. Um, I think I'm going to give that a shot. You know, it's already running and driving great. I I don't want to pull this thing apart unless I need to. Um, I'm going to give that a try. I wonder where I could borrow a torch. All right, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I asked around. I found a guy in the corner has a torch, and and we're we're doing it here. It, okay, <laughs> let's let's hear. Oh, oh wow, oh Jesus, oh it went down a lot. Oh <laughs> wow, uh, God, am I gonna be able to drive like this? Oh shit, shit, fuck. Uh, okay, <laughs> let me go test this out. Well. It drives. It, it steers. I, I, I have the the front down. It's got this nice like you know, bellflower rake, and I I am just loving it. I, I managed to get the the chrome steelies on it, and uh, yeah, it's God. It's starting to look like something. It's starting to to feel like something, and I I feel like someone with this. I I I, I can't explain. I'm just so uh, it's you know it's it's in my head. It's I I constantly thinking about it constantly planning and plotting and trying to figure out what's next i just i i i i don't know it's it's like it's a part of me and i think there's a part of me in it well all right well i i've been driving it for a couple weeks here and then uh i don't quite trust it for a commuter but it's fun around the block and uh you know it's it's funny when I when I got the nose down, I I thought I had it, you know. I, I thought like, wow, it's I really got some stance here. But 
God, now the ass is up so high in the back. I just, I, I gotta get it down. It just, I gotta, you know, I, I just gotta get it to, to sit level. I think if it sat level, then I'd be good. I, I think I'd be fine. So, so I'm gonna get some blocks. I'm gonna pull this back down. I'm gonna get it uh, on the ground. Oh wait. So, so since it's this weird Buick shit, <laughs> I'm gonna torch the back again and uh, and we'll see what happens. I know everyone says you're not supposed to do it, but fuck, it works, right? You know, like people in the '60s didn't just sit around and wait for lowering springs to come out. You know, it, I'm just I'm just following the tradition. Oh my god, I uh, it, it was quite the fight, but I got it. It's 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 down in fact. I think it's even yeah, I it's a little lower in the back now. Now now it's starting to get that that tail dragger stance. Not not quite that low, but it's it's getting there. God, you know that front end, I I bet those collapsed coils are just sitting in there. I bet if I if I get that out cut those down i could probably get it down just a, another inch or two in the front and and get this thing sitting level i god i gotta try it i just i wait here where well okay so i i spoke with the neighbor and yeah it's it's late it's late it's it's just about midnight but i you know i i gotta work all day and i only have have a little time at night to get this stuff done. And God, if I, if I wasn't working late, I, in the garage, I'd never get anything done. So, so fuck him, fuck it. I, I don't need a torch. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna hammer the, the hell out of those ball joints. I'm gonna get those springs out. And I'm just gonna cut them. I, you know, I, I'll just take a grinder to it. I'll cut off those coils. I'll put it all back together, and, uh, and we'll be good to go. I, I, I mean, I don't get why. Why wouldn't he loan me the torch? And. Uh, well, all right. Well, I, I'm gonna put this down. I got some work to do. I gotta, I gotta get up early in the morning. So, see how we can wrap this up. All right. Well, I, I got it. I got it. I got it back together. It's, uh, it's about four o'clock. Uh, the, the last since the last time I recorded this, and I. Yeah, you know, I, I, I called in to work. I, I called in and, you know, I, I I feel okay about that. Not great, but I, you know, I kind of am sick. And I, I have a, a member of the family that needs to, uh, care. Uh, and, uh, God, I just got to get this. Gotta, gotta, I got to get this on the road. Because, you see, I got those coils out of the front. And now, God, now the back is up again. And I, God, and it's, it is getting close in the front. And I think... I think if I take it down just another inch in the back, I'll be able to get it to sit even, and that bumper won't be so close to the ground. So, like, I mean, I I have to do it, really. I mean, what, what, what else am I going to do? All right, let's get this taken care of. <sighs> well, well, I got it. You know, it, it actually wasn't that bad the, the back was sitting on a bump stop I, I hammered those out and yeah it's it's pretty close to the frame but you know it'll it'll knock off what it doesn't need right uh it it still drives still drives beautifully it's not not as great uh around corners or, or up driveways but god the 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 less light i could see under the rocker panels the better and it's you know it's it, it's it's mine it's my my vision and it's it's god it's sitting it's sitting perfect so i'm gonna I'm gonna hang this up. I'm gonna get back to work, and uh, and I'm gonna think about it. Just sitting in the driveway, I I can't leave it. I we need to we need to finish this. We we need to see this through. I I, I need that car from my dreams realized and actualized in front of me. It, it, it's it's me, you know. It's it's it, we are. We're the same, you know. I I can feel it when I'm working on it. There's a, a little hesitation during ignition, and I think that it's nervous for me, you know. I, I I can feel it at each time I brush up against the quarter panel. I feel it brushing back each time I cut the springs lower and lower 
clear out the bump stop or cut away that little piece of whatever that's sticking out for the frame that's that's keeping it from getting down where it needs to be where it was born to be where it sat waiting dormant for years and years until i came along and i am going to be the one to fix it i i'm going to finish this i am going to, to actualize this and make it the, what it needs to be because we we are in this together and there, there's no turning back this is this is it we are we are doing this we are getting this down and around and it, it oh it is beautiful it is so beautiful All right, I'm sleeping on the couch. I, 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 I can't stop. I, I toss and turn in the middle of the night and she's there, beautiful, sitting just on the ground. And I, God, I, I don't have money for bags. I, I wonder, could, it, could I just cut it down so it gets about that low, just so I could see it, just so I could see it kiss the pavement. I just, I just have to know. I have to know it's it, it, the, the space between the rocker panels and the ground is so insulting to me. It's just teasing me just a little more, just a little more trim, just a little lower. And we've got it. I, I gotta figure this out. Maybe, God, maybe just throw some, some sandbags in the trunk or something. I just, I just gotta do it. All right. It's, so it's three in the morning. I'm, uh, I'm home, and uh, it, we, we did it. We, we, we got some wheels and just heavy shit sitting around the yard, and we got it down, and it is on the ground, and it is incredible. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's sitting on a, a, a piece of pinched steel or something on the ground, and God, if I could just get rid of that, if I could just take out the bottom of those rocker panels, I, I know I could just get it just that much further to the ground, just that much further to my vision to my hope, to my dream. I, I, you know, I wonder, I, I, I could just cut that. I could just cut it and it'll sit and I'll be happy. Well, I, I did it. I cut out the, the seam on the, the bottom of the rocker panel and it, it is, it is down. And, you know, I, I got to wiggle it a little bit to, to get it out of the driveway, but it's still, it still works. I got some, some ramps. We put in some wood. It, it moves, you know, the, the bumpers come up on either side from the rocker panel. So really it's not even that low. I got, I, what, what, I mean, there, there's no way I, I'm, I'm channeling this, but God, could I, could I just cut away at the rocker panels a little bit? I mean, you know, just, just get it even with the bumper. So it'll sit flat when it's, when it's parked and then, and then we'll have it, you know, then, then it'll be right. It'll, I mean, I, I just got to try it. It, it just needs, it needs to be there and it needs me to do it. And I will do it. I set out on this journey with a goal and I'm going to see it through. Well, that's the end of the recording, but I think I had heard enough. See, I've, I've seen this before. I think I know just where to go. And there's only one place to go when you're looking for someone this lost. The cemetery. Got a late start getting out of the office, but I made it down to the cemetery about 10 o'clock at night. It's dark. I had to break open the gate, but it'd be worth it because I, I knew where I was going. You see, cemetery... Cemetery leaves their equipment out at night. They, they, it's a surprising cost of real estate in a, a cemetery to store tools, and, and I knew where they were at. There, there's a small lake at the back of the lot where they leave an unsecured backhoe, and that's where I'm headed. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. See all the, the telltale signs? The loneliness. The loneliness sets in. It takes over. It messes with your mind. You know, it's a, it's an endless challenge to return the car back 
to in the earth from whence it came as a, a group of of elements and metals and plastics vinyl or i think that's also plastic but that's not the point you see i found the backhoe moved by the lake the uh it had scraped away six inches or so of dirt from the the side of the lake and i could see the unmistakable tracks of bias plies heading down into the groove that it had cut out and then I could see where the the car slipped. And I could see where it slid downhill. And I could see it's still lit headlights sitting at the bottom of the lake. No doubt. No doubt our friend was in there. You see? There comes a point in the build of a car where you can go no further. There are a few ways out of it. You could sell. You could crush. Or you could drive it into the ground. And that, well, that's exactly what he did. Now I should hang this up. I got some phone calls to make. I'm Matt Black, Hot Rod Detective, closing another case of the Buick and the Lowness.